welcome back to my channel oh my god this is like the most exciting video well one of the most exciting videos because i have got a few exciting videos coming your way in these next few weeks but like this is probably up there like with a massive milestone and yeah i'm just super excited so as you will see by the title this is our first empty house tour like yes we've got a house i uploaded my homeware haul literally the other day i filmed it the other day and we were going through the process of being accepted we got accepted that day that i was filming that video so yeah it's just it's mad and then we moved two days later after that like the process has flown it's been crazy like it's flew i filmed that on wednesday and we moved in on friday which was yesterday it is now saturday and yeah i'm bringing you an empty house tour which I've been waiting for this for so flipping long. So just a little bit of a backstory. Me and Sam can't actually get a mortgage yet because, well, we've got all of our savings there and ready for a mortgage, which is so frustrating. But um, because Sam is self-employed, he's got his own company. So he's a director of his own company. He has to have two years or three years worth of books and he's only been up and running just over a year and we just needed our own space. We wanted, we've been wanting our own space for the longest time and yeah, we just couldn't wait anymore. So here we are, we are renting. I know that there's such a stigma around renting but each to their own, like we needed this, we wanted this. So yeah, we are gonna be renting for like a year or so, maybe longer, we'll see how we go. But yeah, we are super happy and yeah, I love this house so much so I can't wait to show you. If you do enjoy, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Make sure you go follow me over on my Instagram and my TikTok. But yeah, let's get on into the empty house tour. So here is the front door and then this is what you see when you walk in. We've just got like a little hallway, just excuse this. It is an empty house tour but obviously we moved in yesterday like last night and i wanted to do this video straight away but it just got dark so fast so i was just like you know what i'm gonna do it tomorrow so we have got a few bits but obviously it's not the, gonna be the finished house tour which will be coming obviously once we finished this house but yeah so this is what you see when you come in we've got like the obviously the the mat um and the little lino floor there's a little window here as well and yeah, we've got some hooks for coats there. So that's just my sister's coat and my coat because my sister's here right now. I'm just looking after her. Um, while Sam and my stepdad go and pick a sofa up for us. Um, then we've got a little radiator. And then in the first door here, we have a downstairs toilet, which is so handy. We need to fill that up with toilet roll. There's a little window there, as you can see. Toilet sink mirror that mirror is literally coming down so they had the painters and decorators in and they've painted the whole house this gray color which we aren't like upset about like it's fine honestly it we we like gray and we'll probably change just a few rooms but it's helped us out no end because then we don't have to do like all of the hard work but yeah so this is what you see obviously as the hallway from this end and um, there's a little cool shelf here which we've like put our shoes i've never ever seen a shelf above a door before but yeah that is what it looks like also please excuse the curtains that are in this house these are all coming down they are not staying not at all so yeah that is the little hallway and downstairs toilet and then you come through this door here and then this is the living room oh excuse that as well my mum and gary got me and sam that when um we were seen on telly for the one love manchester concert for ariana grande um and yeah that was us like the screenshot of us taken off of the telly basically um and yeah they just put it up there yesterday just as a little jokey thing it won't be staying there but we've just kept it up there for now but yeah as you can see there is bits like all over the floor because obviously we are moving so yeah just imagine all of this without the bits on the floor in but yeah so we've got a nice big window over there with the gorgeous gorgeous curtains not so that lets in like loads of light we've got a lovely little fireplace all obviously repainted as well and yeah this is such a decent size room i love it and i love the fact that we've got the stairs there because i at christmas time i can just imagine like the most nicest garland going up and down there and yeah then we've got like this little bit here there's my little gold teddy bear 
Um, and I think I'm going to put like a side table here with like a mirror. And then obviously the little bear will like stay there. That's a little vase. So yeah, we've got a radiator there and a radiator there. This house gets really warm really quick, which is nice because I am such a cold person. And obviously we are coming into winter. But yeah, so this is the living room, which is such an amazing size. Got a lamp there, which we got from B&M. I love that. It's so nice. But yeah, this is so weird because I've never done a house tour before. But yeah, this is the living room. And then we go through this door here. So yeah, we open this door and then here is the kitchen. I love this floor. This is all newly laid before we moved in. But yeah, so this is the kitchen. Please excuse, obviously, the mess and everything. But like I say, the process of moving everywhere is a mess until we get it organised. But yeah, it is such a good size. So here's all the worktop space. And then we've got these gorgeous patio doors and a window. Again, like, what is the point of these curtains? Like, aren't they just horrific? They remind me of like cottage style curtains. It's really echoey in here as well because obviously it's not filled with furniture yet. We've got space there for a washing machine which is coming on Wednesday. And then we bought this fridge yesterday. We thought we were going to have a fridge freezer to like go here. But we thought, you know what, there's a space under there for a fridge. So we're going to use that space and obviously use that space for a washing machine. And then we've got a massive chest freezer that my mum and stepdad didn't want anymore. So we've got that in the garage because we have got a garage with this house, which is amazing. But yeah, so we've got all of the countertop space here, as you can see. Got our beautiful kettle that my mum and stepdad got for us. How gorgeous are my tea, coffee and sugar jars? I love them. These are my inspo off of my best friend, Fran. She had some um, and I just fell in love with them when she moved into her house. And yeah, I just had to copy, so she influenced me. <laughs> Obviously, we need to still get some tea bags. I just love the little cork ball effect. I think they look so cute. So yeah, that's my little coffee, tea, and sugar pots, and my kettle. Love it. And then we have the oven, which is such an old oven. I haven't even tried to use it yet, and I'm dreading it. We've got the hob, the gas hob. Um, obviously, extractor fan, cupboard space. These beautiful knives which we bought from Amazon. We got so much stuff from Amazon. I bought some bits from Wilco's the other day. So some cloths, some baking trays, a pizza tray. Just this one lonely like frying pan. Some jugs and then these bits are all from my parents house. Mum also bought me some Sephora as a moving in present. I bought some fairy non biopods and some fabric softener for when the washing machine gets here. These are our gin glasses which still need to be washed up and obviously the paper needs to come off the side of them. I've got these dishmatic refill things as well which I bought the other day because we've got one of those and I love it. Some just some cloths obviously because we've been washing up and everything. But yeah this sink isn't like the best at all. I really don't like this sink but obviously with being in a rental property like there's going to be some things that you don't like. But all in all, we love this house. Like, there's hardly any faults with it at all. But yeah, them curtains, they need to go because they're just pointless. Like, aren't they? So bloody pointless. I just hurt my fucking ankle. Ow. We also have two light switches in here, as you can see. Um, and yeah, them lights are being changed too because Sam absolutely hates them. Being an electrician, yeah, he... He's very picky as well with what like he wants. He's like, yep, yeah, the curtains are all going, the light shades and lights are all going and we're putting our own, which is fair enough. So yeah, they are going because we don't really like the spotlight type thing, especially with like them style of lights. So yeah, here are the nice patio doors, which is amazing that go out into the garden. So in the summertime, that is going to be so good. Again, we've got some of these horrid curtains, but obviously these ones actually are the right length this time, unlike those ones. <laughs> but yeah, gorgeous patio doors which lead out into the garden. The garden really does need um, some TLC. The grass needs cutting and obviously the clothesline and everything. Them pegs need to come off because I'm not going to be one of them people that leaves clothes pegs on the line at all. But yeah, this is the garden. It's such a decent size. And then right round there, so this is the garage here. 
this is the garage and then right round that corner there is another like patio area so it's actually quite a decent size and because we've got all these massive trees as well like it's really secluded and private so hardly anyone looks in which is so nice so yeah we've got this patio area here all of this needs a good jet wash obviously mow the lawn jet wash and i'm going to sort them pegs out i'm going to throw them pegs and then i will get my own um, we've got our bins there, as you can see, and then that is our back gate and obviously the garage door, and then we can get into the garage there too. Having a garage, amazing. Like, I'm so happy we've got a garage and so is Sam. So yeah, that is the garden. Obviously, I'm not going to go out there because it is rainy and wet today. But yeah, so next to the patio door, we have this massive space here. We've put a clock up which kind of on video <laughs> looks tiny. It looks really, really like out of place there, but like, I don't know why it looks so far away. But yeah, so we've got a radiator and then here we're thinking of putting like a bench type of dining table. We really like the dining tables with the benches. So then the benches can just like be pushed underneath it and away because I feel like chairs like take up so much space. So that is what our plan is there. And then here, which is so handy, just excuse the what it looks like inside, we have got a massive understairs cupboard. It's like a Harry Potter cupboard. So we're gonna keep like mop, hoover. We're gonna put some more shelves up as well, um, just to add storage. We've got a toaster there, what Sam needs to fix, um, and our rug for the living room that needs to go in the living room. And we've just got some spare coffee there. Um, and just other little bits and bobs. That is paint from when the paint is painted obviously everywhere. But yeah, we've got this really handy under stores cupboard, under storage cupboard, which is, yeah, handy because we can just put all our crap in there and shut it away. So yeah, that is the kitchen. Um, we are planning on getting a dryer eventually, but the dryer can literally just go into the garage because obviously we've got our chest freezer in there and it has, um, power in the garage too so it's perfect so if we do get a dryer eventually it'll be in there but a dryer is not like main priority at the moment so yeah that is our kitchen and then you come through here again out of the kitchen and then we can go up the stairs i love all these carpets as well so this carpet is all throughout the house um obviously bar the kitchen the bathroom the downstairs toilet but yeah so let's go up the stairs it's so bright and airy in this house as well. I love it, as you can see. So yeah, here we are on the landing. So this is the top of the landing, as you can see. And then there's three doors there and a fourth here. So this side is a window. I'm so happy we've got a window on the landing because yeah, it just, like I say, lets so much light in. And we are classed as an end of terrace. It's nice to only be joined on one side. So yeah, as you first come up the stairs, this is what you see, you see the bathroom. Now this room is literally finished, basically. We just need to get a few more bits and bobs and then it is done. We really don't need to do much to this because it was all newly redone for when we moved in, which is amazing. So yeah, we've got a new cabinet. As you can see, Sam set all of this out so nicely. So we've got our toothbrush, toothpaste. Obviously all of this needed to go out last night because we stayed here last night. It was our first night in our new home. And then we've got, yeah, cupboard space, which has got obviously all of our crap that we want to just hide away. Sanitary pads, wet wipes, and everything like that. Spare toothpaste and things, shampoos and cleaners. Then we've got the sink here, which has got obviously brand new taps. That soap needs to go away now, because um, we've got this soap dispenser. And then we've got like all this space here, which I kind of want to keep clear because probably put like a candle on it or something. But yeah, I like it clear. I don't want to clutter it up. So yeah, the grey, as you can see, is in the bathroom too. It is honestly everywhere throughout the house. It's in every single room. So we'll probably change it in some rooms. But for majority, like I'm so happy they painted it this colour because then we don't have to do much painting. And painting is the bane of my life. I'm so happy they chose this colour and not bloody magnolia. But yeah, then we've got a cabinet here. There's me, hi. Um, and Sam has organized all of this too. We've got Sam's little side here. I've kind of took over everything. But anyway, yeah, Sam's little side here with his deodorants and hair pomade and things, hairspray. And then we've got my side, deodorants and everything. 
and a little spare hairbrush on top we've just got things that haven't been opened yet so my filter some cleansing balm and a little pixie face mask so yeah we've got that which is really good for storage we've got even a shaver socket there for charging obviously toothbrushes and his shaver so that is that yeah we've got little shelves there too which is perfect i love how sam's done that imperial ever like that we've really stocked up on that because we love it and then we've got the little bath mat which i showed in the homeware hall this is the same lino flooring as the kitchen and we love it and then obviously the toilet we've got our new toilet brush this towel isn't staying um it's just what my mum gave me for now to see us through bless her um until we get obviously our own matching ones toilet roll holder we've got another lovely window there and we've put sam's little whale on it here we have the bath slash shower shower curtain all of this is like literally brand new we've got these little ducky tea light holders there at the end which is going to be so cute when we have a bath sam's had a shower this morning so that is why if you see water droplets um yeah that is why I had this newly installed because this was black when we came and um looked around this house and yeah this is all brand new so they've put a brand new one in for when we moved in which is amazing. I love the fact that this bathroom is literally complete. How nice are these taps? I just love them. We've got some amazing white tiles, which I love. I love the fact that they're white because it's just so clean and fresh looking. And yeah, so that is the little bathroom. It's perfect size for us. And yeah, we love it. Then you come out of the bathroom on back onto the landing and we go into this room here, which is the spare room. Please excuse everything. So, because obviously this is our first time moving and we didn't really have a lot. Well, we said we didn't really have a lot to move. We do. We have so many clothes and everything. But we didn't, we haven't used move-in vans because there's no point. We're not moving a whole house into this house. We're literally moving mine and Sam's bedroom from our home, like our family homes to here. So, yeah, that is it. But all of these black bin bags are full of clothes, pillows, as you can see, we've just shoved it all in this spare room so then we can organise it once we've got other bits in. But this is such a decent sized spare room. So we're planning on this being office slash filming room slash spare room. So yeah, this is where I'll probably be filming my YouTube videos. So I'm really, really excited to obviously plan this and do all of this. I think I'm going to do this as a whole separate video as well. Obviously, I'm going to do moving vlogs and everything do my office transformation and yeah i'm super excited this is what i mean i've got some really exciting videos planned when you're moving and obviously we've got all of this space to play with from going from obviously just having bedrooms um it's just it's it's mad so we've got all of this space to fill and yeah i can't bloody wait so yeah light fittings and curtains are all going to be taken down because ew but yeah we have got the iMac there which hopefully will be on a desk soon we've got these really weirdly like placed sockets i don't get it, upstairs here the sockets are like higher up rather than being low down and we don't get it i don't understand the logic there's actually that one's quite low down that one's like a average height but all the others aren't they're like that it's like it in mine and sam's room as well but yeah so that is the spare room you can't really see what it's going to look like now but in the moving vlogs and everything to come you'll be able to see and then we go into this one and this is the master bedroom this is mine and sam's room as you can see we've got our mattress on the floor which we slept in last night a lovely big window too it's really echoey in here still so we're planning on getting drawers we're gonna have a telly on top of the drawers obviously bedside tables we need to get a bed too yeah um, as you can see, this is what I mean by the plug sockets. Like, why is it all the way up there? If anyone knows why plug sockets are placed like this, because there's one there and there's one there. It's just, look how random that looks. Well, I think it does anyway. But yeah, so obviously, as you can see, this is grey as well in here. I think this is probably one of the rooms that me and Sam may change. Um, we may paint... I think we want to go on a beigey theme rather than a grey. But we'll see we don't really know the layout of this room yet 
but in the moving vlogs and everything you will see we've got our lamps there bedside lamps i don't know why that one has fallen over i haven't got any curtains up there and those things that are on that side there is old curtains and we just hung them over the pole just so then it wasn't too bright when we woke up this morning and then we go into the last room this is a three bed house which is amazing what we wanted and then this is gonna be our little wardrobe room we're calling it we don't know if these are staying in here yet i think these are um that's our wash basket obviously but we're thinking of putting our shoe shelves in here as well getting a rail maybe excuse the state of this because obviously this is where i got ready at my mum and stepdad's house like that's how it was there um but yeah we're not sure how this room is going to be laid out yet i think we might get either a rail or another chest of drawers here and yeah this room's just going to be full for clothes basically because obviously it's a tiny it's a box room it's not tiny but like it's not the biggest you could definitely fit a double bed in here i think a squeeze but maybe a single <clears throat> more than anything but yeah this is perfect for our wardrobe room as you can see so that is what we're going to use it for another window horrid curtains which are going to be coming straight down another horrid lampshade and then you turn this way and we actually have an airing cupboard as well just excuse the noise that the water because obviously the hot water and that's on at the minute but this is going to be perfect for like storing towels and bedding and everything in as well so yeah that is another little good storage space but that is everything so yeah that is the empty house tour done and dusted i can't believe like i'm filming this video right now like or i've just filmed this video it is absolutely crazy to me um that we've got our own house now it is it's mad um, but yeah, I'm so excited for this journey and I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me too So expect lots of moving vlogs expect tours and room transformations and everything like that too And then we've got another exciting announcement in a few weeks as well So yeah, please keep your eyes peeled. I know you guys will because you're just amazing. I love you all so so much we are literally so close to 10k as well, which is mind-blowing to me. So yeah, thank you so much for your ongoing support as well. Yeah, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, because like I say, there will be so much house content coming your way. You are not ready. I'm not ready, so you're not ready. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time for a brand new video. Bye!